Hello, Bob. Hello, everyone. We are back for episode 17 of Sinarukana. So last episode, we just uh, dismembered a boy. How exciting that thing is. We butchered a boar. <laughs> yes. I've never done it for a boar, but I have for a deer. I imagine it's pretty similar. Doe, a deer, a female deer? Or actually more precisely an elk. Still, it's in the deer family. Alright, so after that we're back in the school with fresh boar meat and some delicious peach apple cross fruit and apparently a lot of vegetables as well. But, okay. Peach apple crossfire. <laughs> the cafeteria is crowded now. With the crowd all clamoring around me, it really feels like we're back in our usual world. Except for the food, which is far from reality as you can get. They're using the biggest pots we could find to make boar stew, as well as roasting giant chunks of boar meat. The smell is slowly filling the entire room. A bunch of students that know how to cook volunteered to help. Nozomi is leading them. When we got back covered in blood, there was a huge uproar. When it spread that it was boar's blood, there was another one, but an entirely different kind. Sane practically fainted when she saw us. She's part of the chaos right now, too. Everyone's pitching in. Everyone turn into baseball players? Hmm, they sure come around quick. What's the matter now? I mean, when we got back, they were all freaking out about killing an animal. Well, that's how it goes. Like poultry farms. They seem great from the outside, but totally different inside. Yeah, maybe that's what it means to grow up. He sits down in a chair, making weird, supposedly mature remarks. After Satsuki's meeting with everyone, a kind of dread hung over the school. Shinsuke and Agawa believed in us from the start, but there were a lot of other students really stressed out over not being able to go home. We were prepared for the skeptical looks, but right now the cafeteria is filled with a kind of nostalgic energy. This festival-like atmosphere probably won't last long, but it's still nice. Nozomu? Moriku? Otsukare-sama? Ah well, sorry. It had a lot more blood than I thought. Ah, uh, thanks for the extra uniform. Enjoying the water. We don't have very many spares, so make sure you keep it clean from now on. <laughs> That's going to be kind of hard. I mean, I'll be careful, but clean's pushing it. <laughs> After all, our lives now include foraging for food in the forest. By the way, why aren't you helping cook? Oh, uh, well, um, right. Tasting! I'm in charge of tasting. There's always the chance it could be poison, right? So... Guessing Sane can't cook very well. <laughs> uh, like Karen. <laughs> Why don't you just admit you can't cook, ma'am? Don't call me ma'am. 
I was told that bad crooks would only get in the way. By who? Nozomin, that girl's been so serious ever since she got back, you know? She's always been pretty serious about cooking, though. Sokka. Nanda, it's your chance to meet Enja. Oh, I see. What? You've been keeping an eye on her? No, I didn't mean it like that. Yes, yes. There, there. Okay, make sure that you support your student president in the same way. Got it? I'm not sure what way that is, but okay. We keep chatting a little bit as we watch them cook. After a while, when things are starting to wrap up, Nozomi comes over. Done already, Nozomi? It's almost done. All that's left is to sit down on the table. I'll keep it simmering until everyone's here. So, what ended up on the menu? I thought about it, but I had to use a butter and a butter. The meat was we decided to make four stew and roast four. We have lots of ingredients too, so there's plenty of salt and pepper. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh I've never had boar before. Okay, I'll go round up all the students. Ah, yes. Thanks for telling them. Alright, you guys go ahead and sit down. I'll bring some over right away. It seems what, like 30 students? Yeah, in that picture. There might be more tables behind us. The tables are divided up by class, so we know exactly where to sit. But for some reason, there's a name tag with my name written on it at the head of the table. What's that for? Hello, dinner's ready. Please come meet by class. Wow, we're in another world, but the PA still works. Hey, just exactly how are we getting power? We probably had a generator or something. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> We've got electricity, gas, and water. Are we getting it from Monobi? Um, I guess we could get gas and water from a creature in a way, but I'm not sure about electricity. Get it from the gas or from the water? <laughs> Maybe Monobi isn't a whale, but it's more like some kind of an electric eel, like an electric whale. Like, you know, you just plug it right into her? <laughs> hmm, she says we are, but I think it's okay. Yep, but see you just can't that. wave it all. Then we really are using stuff from her. The students who heard the broadcast start to file in. They're about half worried and half excited to find out what they're going to eat. <laughs> Hey, Nozomo! Jeez, where do you think you're sitting? Satsuki? I'm sitting where I'm supposed to. Okay. No, you're not. You are seats over here. I even wrote your name on it, too. 
She points at the chair that has my name in front of it. Huh? Did she do that? That's the head of the table! I don't want to be sitting up there like I'm on display! You got it all wrong! How rude! It's just a little token of gratitude to the captain of the food squad! Somehow, my official position and title have already been set. <laughs> I get it! Satsuki, where should I sit as his lieutenant? Lieutenants can go away, Albert. Hey! I carried the pot! That's right. Therefore, I turn the position of captain over to you. I'll just be the unsung hero. <laughs> Whatever, you sit here, Nozomu. Come on. Ah! She forces me into the seat and then sits down next to me for some reason. Hey, why is she sitting with us? Come on, you're tired, right? I've gone over a lot of food, so eat up! Err, uh, um... Is this this new uh, Soylent? Is, hopefully the food isn't, you know, this whole uh, new Soylent green type stuff. I hear it's supposed to be very healthy. <laughs> That's right, Satsuki! I feel the same way. This reminds me of lunch at elementary school. She pulls a chair over and sits down on the other side of me as Sasuki. So, that, Nozomi, Nozomi, did you have Soylent Green at elementary school? <laughs> Don't push, Nozomi. Satsuki, can't you scoot over a little more? Oh my man. You know, staying so calm while you're getting attacked on both sides can't be good for you. That has nothing to do with it! Come on! This isn't even your class, Itsuki! Okay, I was... Alright, I'm going to eat with a different class every day. She makes up an excuse out of nowhere, without a trace of guilt. Come on, you all eat up to you. She starts handing out the roast board to everyone. We don't have any rice! We do have a lot of this, so eat up! Not willing to be defeated, maybe. Nozomi starts handing out the stew to everyone, too. Man, the two of them are making a scene. And why is everyone staring at me so weirdly? That's weird. I feel like I've been through this before, but this is a whole new world. <laughs> Honestly, you do not change no matter where you go. Do you never tire of it? Raimi? Where have you been all this time? I was checking on everyone, patrolling here and there. Oh, so apparently she was in everyone else's hair. <laughs> if you were, then why is your mouth so dirty? Because she was, uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, teacher's here. Such a dirty mouth. Gotta wash it out with soap. All the noise suddenly quiets down, and everyone looks to Sane standing in the doorway. So, Okay, then. This is dinner for our first day of survival. 
Eat up so you have energy for tomorrow. Thank Nozomu is good for bringing it to us. Dig in. Thank you. They're a little stiff, but their voices are still a lot more subdued than earlier at the gym. Hopefully, this unexpectedly grandiose dinner will help them relax. Uh, we should finally eat. We'd be in trouble if we didn't cook it all the way through. Ah, Hizoto, thank you. Come sit over here. それにしても随分と豪華な食事になったわね。簡単家事ぐらいの覚悟はしてたのに。Still, this is quite the gorgeous dinner. I was preparing my sale for relations. 本当ですよ。肉が取れたのはやっぱでかかったんだな。True, I didn't think we'd bring back meat. そうね、殺されるかと思ったけど。では、自然の恵みに感謝して。yeah, I thought I was gonna die then, and thanks for nature's bounty. That's right, and let's give our thanks to the boy too. Everyone gives a quiet thanks and starts eating. The bowl in front of me has a chunk of meat with a bone still sticking out of it. This is seriously more stew? And this is a huge chunk of meat. Wink, wink. I obviously have way more than anyone else. She was probably trying to be considerate, but this is huge. Huh? Mm -hmm. Don't she have quite a lot? She immediately picks up on it and starts meddling. He worked really hard to get any food, but that's his share. Er, I didn't really. <laughs> I see, then I'll give him a little reward too. Here you go, just for you. Wink, wink. She stabs a piece of meat from her own bowl and holds it up in front of me. Come on, open up! <laughs> Say ah! You don't need to do that! <laughs> ah, if you do that, then you'll end up hungry. You shouldn't push yourself. She grabs some of her own food and sticks it in my face, too. <laughs> The two of them smile at each other, with me trapped in between them. Well, they have smiles on their faces, but I wouldn't exactly say they're smiling. So now you have to choose who's me to eat. And I think they've already forgotten that I exist. Um, I can eat my own. I can eat on my... OW! HOT! IT'S TOUCHING ME, SATSUKI! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it already touched your mouth, so now you have to eat it. You pushed it against him. Fine, then I'll eat it. Now this, I remember. I feel like it's been forever since I last saw it. It was annoying before, but now it's kind of comforting. Misato is teasing me, and Shinsuke's just staring at us with a grin. Come on, Shinsuke, not you too. Yes, a grin. Obviously a grin. Still, the meat and stew are delicious. I was a little worried about the strong smell while it was cooking, but I don't mind it at all now. The meat's tough and kind of fatty, but tastes great with salt and pepper. Hi, Mina. Just to keep it Okay, everyone, can you listen for a moment? Ah, Nozomu-chan, Sanae-o-nee-chan ga nani ka yu mitai da yo. Ah, 
time is over. Sonic's about to say something. You don't say. Eh. <laughs> 今日こうして私たちはご飯にありつくことができました。これはね、全員が頑張ってくれたおかげなの。みんな、uh, この意味わかる？ How long you gonna talk? We were able to have dinner tonight, and you know that's thanks to everyone's hard work. Do you understand what that means? Everyone starts wrestling until she quiets them with her hand again, hands again. ここは未知の世界です。でも協力していけばなんとかなることはこの食事からでもわかると思うの。This is a strange world, but we can handle it if we work together. This dinner proves that. だってこのごちそうはみんなが自分の仕事をやり遂げた結果なんだからね。Because this is the result of everybody taking care of their jobs. 料理ができる人は料理ができるでしょ。でも何もできることはないって思う人でも仕事はいくらでもあるわ。荷物運びとかね。Those that can cook, cook, right? But even if you think you can't do anything, there's plenty to do, like carrying things around. 大変ではあるけれど。生徒会長ははっきりと元の世界に帰る方法を見つけてみせると約束してくれたわ。だったら私たちも会長に答えてあげるべきなのよ。It may be hard, but your present promise that she'll find a way to safely return to our old world, so we should also try to do whatever we can for her. だからこれからも一人一人協力して。So let's keep working together from now on, one day at a time. Let's all do our best. There's applause after she finishes. That may be the best proof that a lot of students agree with what she said. やるなあサノエ。心に余裕が生まれた時に呼びかけ、団結を促す。こうすればより理解も得やすいだろう。Well done, Sonny. Encourage unity while their minds are at ease. That way, it will be easy to promote understanding. I guess that's what makes her a teacher. Hmm. こうやって少しずつ現実を認識させていけば、それほど大きな混乱は起きないだろうな。あ、のぞみ、肉をくれ。Hmm. This way, they will accept reality little by little without any major disruptions. Ah, no z o m i give me some meat. The little pixie girl with the the manic pixie dream girl with the dirty mouth is asking you for meat. <laughs> What do you do? I look around the cafeteria. There are still some students who look worried, but somehow I feel like we can do it. I feel it deep in my heart. There are also some people who weird are weirdly enthusiastic and occasionally call out cheers of support. With Satsuki, Sane, and the rest of the students helping, maybe everyone will feel at ease eventually. You know, I tried to give、uh, Binuendos for Lent, but it was just so hard. <laughs> Too early、uh, to call it. Let's go.、Uh, no, it's been less than thirty minutes. Exactly as I said, it's too early to call it. Oh, you said it's too early. I thought you said I think we need to. <laughs> no, I do think we need to, but I but it's also too early. <laughs> huh? Where's Suzuki? She told us to come to the student council room if we needed anything, but she's nowhere to be found. 先輩いないね。外に出てるのかな。She's not here, huh? Maybe she's out. Nozomi walks up to the window and looks outside. So, Ieda, この世界って雨とか降らないのかな Come to think of it, I wonder if it rains in this world. Yeah, that would be kind of a noise. This whole building is kind of perforated. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Well, then again, there was that cloudy, cloudless sky. どうなのかなって思って。Hmm, just wondering, since the weather's so nice. Of course, 
course it rains. It's like a jungle out there. If it didn't rain, there wouldn't be so many trees. I guess so. I bet there are rainy seasons and dry seasons. Hmm, judging by the sun since we came here, day and night are mostly the same as well. Now that you mention it, it does feel that way. First of all, if the weather and sun were different, don't you think that would have an effect on the ecosystem? Although it was quite large, that boar is similar to the boars on your world, was it not? You're right, good eye, just like a detective. Ray may smile us happily on, on top of my head. Are we ever going to figure out why her mouth is dirty? I'm guessing she was probably picking out on apples. Probably. <laughs> she floats through the air, lands on a desk, and stares out the window too. We're already here, so I take a look at outside. The sun's already setting and the sky's colored crimson. I think we made dinner a little early. Yeah, starting tomorrow we'll wait until evening to make it. Well, everyone gobbled it down. I doubt there were, I doubt there were any issues with it being early today. The sun gradually melts behind the horizon. I've only seen anything like this on TV or in the movies. Still, thinking about how we are out in the middle of that forest earlier, it all feels strangely real. I'm just watching the sky change. Why do I feel so moved? I really hope we can find our way back without anything dangerous happening. Stop jinxing it, please. <laughs> oh, what is it, you two? Ah, Satsuki, excuse us, we bought a present for you. Choose from the vending machines. Ah, so nanda, arigato. Mada no kotte da nae. Ah, I see, thank you. So there was still some left. Gyunyu no mi irikire datta n desu. Only the milk was sold out. Milk is popular after all. Hmm, I guess we should put in a lot more then. Okay, thank you for this. She chugs at the 100% orange juice in nearly one go. The three of us all drink and enjoy a little peace for a while. After we relax enough, I decide to get to the real reason we're here. Satsuki, I've been thinking, but won't we need to patrol from now on? Huh? <laughs> If you find anything wrong, then come run in the something. So, this is your name. Naniga Okuruka Zen, Zen Wakaranaikara. Story Wakuai no. Yeah, I guess. Man, being alone and not knowing what will happen is scary. Mada Chosa Mohotondo Susunde Nakarane. Ja, Sasuka Kimicha Mashoka. We haven't really begun investigating anything yet. Okay, let's take care of this right away. She sits down in front of us. Reime picks up a pen and writes morning, afternoon, and evening on a piece of paper. 
ち方で器用にかけるのね さてとじゃあまずは交代の順番だけど夜はのぞむくんで決まりやねねっ OK the first we decide she is the zone was got night obviously right why obviously <laughs> obviously what why だって夜は怖いじゃないしかも寝不足は美容の天敵なのよ Satsuki nods to herself, having decided completely on her own. Well, I guess she has a point. I don't mind taking the night shift. But I don't believe for a second that she's scared. Not that I would say so out loud. What? 一人だと嫌だから一緒にいてほしいとかだったりする<笑> ?Oh, don't want to be alone, Mizumu. Would you like company?What are you talking about? Raymay will be patrolling with me at night. うむ、承知した。うん、understood。それじゃあ、私がお昼を見回りますね。夕方だと食事の準備と重なっちゃいますから。And I'll put you all during the day. I need to make dinner in the evenings. Huh? Nozomi? You ended up captain of the cooking squad? Naka, so not just a. He, yo, or your risky dashi. Apparently, it's fine. I like cooking. Okay, then you're fine with the evenings, Satsuki? Okay. So, Stella, do call me Maruka Makimemasha? あんまり遠くまでやってても一人だとちょっと無理があると思うのよね OK let's decide where to patrol then if we're trying to cover too much ground then one person can't handle it on their own そうだな我もここはという部分を重点的に見回るのがベストだと思うぞ You're right I think it's best to mainly patrol around this area Satsuki where do you think we should focus our attention? そうねえ。私は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。彼女は彼女の家に行きます。Well, that's natural. Ah, that. Ne ne. 
、他のところはこの学園見取り図でチェックしてきみましょう。The audience, hey, hey, let's use this map of the school. She spreads a big photograph over the desk. It's a picture of the school from above showing the entire area. みまる場所をチェックしていくわよ。まずは正門ね。Let's check the patrol spots. First, the front gate. あとは、裏門、玄関。他は Next door, the back gate and entrance. Anywhere else? Hmm. There's already a lot of area to cover. Responding quickly to danger could be a problem. This is harder than I expected. Ah. Ah. Nozomi chan, どうしたの What is it, Nozomi? モノベイが何かが近づいてくるみたいなことを言ってるの。マノーブ says there's something coming! You know, that's exactly what I was just thinking. If the whole school is on top of this whale, can't it tell Nozomi where something's coming from? <laughs> yeah, unless something's, you know, flying. I guess. I always got eyes, too. Flying from behind. Or too far above. What is that? I don't have much of a neck. What? It's dangerous, isn't it? 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 確かに真剣な気配っぽいのを感じるわね。みんな、もっと近くに来。What do we do? They're almost here. Ooh, right before a nice big battle, that'd be a good spot to stop. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Do not waver, Suzuki. We must meet them. We cannot allow them to set one foot inside the school. You're right. Anyway, we're the only ones who can fight. Fortune favors the bold. Let's go meet our enemy. Roger. Okay. Okay, we have to hurry then. Let's go, Nozomu. Here we go, Mano. Okay, this seems like the good spot. Reimei, let's go! Makasera! Give it to me! See, right there. Oh! Yes, indeed, right here. Unfortunately, I don't think we can save right here. Wow, we you're right, we can't. We can probably end it right here, though. Well, we're probably not playing tomorrow, and maybe not Thursday either, depending on how my campaign goes. So I'm not leaving the game running for three days. <laughs> well, what you could do is just、uh, go back to the last save point and just play it right into here and just actually end it on time. All right. But, well, now let's take a look at it. Fine. Suzuki's level three. Well, she has kind of demonstrated that she's the strongest out of, or the most experienced, rather. What is that,、uh, 682, anyway? Is that supposed to be health or something? Because she has the lowest in our Six, entire party. The 682, yeah, that'd be health. Well, because she's,、uh, apparently, she's classified as red. And Nozomi is green. Defender, attacker, and supporter. And, and Nozomi and, and me. And, Uh, the special one. So, me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the special one, just like in the other 
the, in the seal yet. I forget what they're classified as, though. I'll Attack have to... a defender supporter? Is that not, that's no, not it? the, the, the uh, special uh, class that isn't a color that the main character and a few of the important enemies belong to. Artifacts? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so... This looks pretty similar to the first game. Ice Banish is basically a counter spell, so that'll cancel out when she tries to use Fire Bolt. Accurate block. Uh, let's see. So, it, I'm not sure what M is for. Magic? No, because that, that should be the defense value of the skill, which is compared to the attack value. She's got 300 attack versus a 550 defense, so she has no chance of dealing damage. But I'm not sure what F, M, then? F, C, U, T. Huh. Oh, T would be target. Okay, so attack. Uh, attack or defense skill. No, because that's like E. Or no, ally. Ally defender. So yeah, she uses the skill on herself when she's attacked. Because barring certain skills, the enemy attacker can only attack the defender. So, some skills allow attacking the enemy attacker or the supporter, but not very many. Alright, so you want to try it just as it is now? What's the um, turn yeah, 20? Yeah, it's, it's set up perfectly. Huh? What's the turn 20 the bottom right? Um, not sure. The battle's only going to be 20 turns long? Well, if it works like the original one, it's, uh, a battle is only basically one full turn. I mean, some skills can be used multiple times for a value. That might be what the C is, count, use count. So he can attack once, she can block once, and she can cast her spell once. I see that they have a total of five in between them. She can, oh yeah, she can cast twice. So if that is the count, then that's going to be a problem, because she won't be able to counter it twice. Although 250, Firebolt, I believe, targets the, oh yeah, targets the enemy attacker. So, I can take the hit. Alright, All right, let's well. try it. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Is there a pause? <laughs> <laughs> No damage, nice. Good aim. you. Turn three of twenty. Huh. Yeah, so maybe That's it will weird. only last uh, twenty turns at the most. So I guess right. he isn't the cast time. Amount. Hmm. Oh, that's weird. I'll engage again. Do the defender, please. Okay, yeah, they... okay, some certain boss battles in the first one was this continuous format. Especially like the battles against like dragons. So I guess this initial thing must be uh, in that format. Unless, uh, unless all the battles are that way now, which would... No, that wouldn't be really doable. Okay, well this number is decreasing. So, okay, Every you, you, is, you is the number of usages between having to rest. Wow, that's a lot more than the first game. 
How many the was maxim, the first one? I think the maximum I s of any skill I saw in the first game was like 10. Now you're getting like 20, 25. And, mo and some of them were only like 4. <laughs> well, they've changed things for the new games. Yeah, apparently so. Is there anything that- what's that great big B? Uh, Suzuki's B. Um, I guess it'd be to indicate it's a banish type skill, basically a counter spell. Alrighty. Because even though that's pretty applicable for this one's name, they're not all called banish. There's uh, some later that they're called other things, like ether or something. Or so other this... things? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it so, since, they did, since the enemy didn't have a huh? defender anymore, they have this blocking skill, that's why it did critical damage. The same thing uh -huh. can happen if you have more attacks per... Well, actually that might not be the case since it looks like this is just a one round continuous thing. The Suzuki's probably feeling rather useless right now. Huh? Well, it should should be it should be able to switch it up. Uh, Celestial Ally One. Wonder what that does. Targets all allies. Sounds interesting. Let's see if we all actually be able to see it. Probably not, though. What's her attack scale? Luminous Blade. 320. Man, it's not quite enough. I want to see the Celestial Ally. That's a, yeah, I do too. I want to see what that is. Amplifier Pass. Celestiary! Oh, nice! It heals and increases mana. I wonder what mana is for. Magic. Look, Ms. Omu is out of mana. Those lifeless doll girls scatter and run away from us. And, uh, actually we'll call it here, since uh, we meant to call it before that little battle, but... We had a fight! Hooray, hooray! Yeah, which I actually had a little control over the setup, finally. Although, no explanation about it. Uh, fortunately, having played the first game, I know a lot about it. Uh, and can infer quite a bit as well. Well, so it seems to be the figure, kind of... figure it out, although some of the skill names are different, so I wasn't sure what that did. And I guess it was basically summoned, uh... Summoned, uh... Ray, Ray May to buff everybody. It kind of seemed like the sort of thing where no matter how you set it up, you were probably going to win anyway. Oh yeah, being so the initial just mess with it. being in the initial battle probably. Well, not exactly. If I'd have been really stupid and set uh, the Red Spirit as a defender, she might have gone down because but she had, cause the Red Spirits have really poor defense. <laughs> Not spirit this time. I gotta stop saying spirit. <laughs> but the red class, I guess. Yeah. Basically, the classes are set up so that uh, blue specializes in attacking. Uh, their defense is fairly weak uh, if they're in the defense role, but they have a decent amount of hit points. And in the supporting role, you saw they counter enemy magic. Um, red spirits sometimes have decent attack and sometimes don't. They usually have weaker attacks that hit multiple times and sometimes deal elemental damage rather than physical. Uh, they absolutely suck in defense in the defense position because their defense is poor and so is their defensive stat. <laughs> And when they're put in the supporter role, they cast offensive damaging spells, like the enemy was casting Firebolt. 
Uh, the green ones, they have the highest defense, so they're the best defenders. They have a medium power attack, and when they're put in the supporter role, they either have a... Uh, a buff that boosts defense of the defender, or a healing spell. And then black spirits, they usually have enemy debuffs in the support role. In the attacking role, they're really weak, but they hit a they hit a lot uh, really fast. Lots of attacks, so they can usually overwhelm the defender if they don't have That's right, thousand enough, paper cuts. Yeah, if they don't have enough defensive skill uses. And, uh, and they're kind of unique for a defender role. They don't have the best uh, defensive stats. They'll take quite a bit of damage, but they also reflect a portion of the damage they take onto the enemy. Of course, this is all assuming that it works exactly like the first game, which, which I, guess, I guess at the moment I really don't have any other reason to assume, assume any reason to assume otherwise. <laughs> Alright, so after that pointless explanation, because it's probably going to ex be explained in detail here shortly... <laughs> and potentially going to be changed around. <laughs> and might change, yep. We'll call it there. Nice three episodes, nice two and a half hours added on to our playtime. Yep. This is chapter two. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. If you didn't notice. Alright. Well, thank you all for watching, and y'all have a good night. Y'all.